Yo, what's up guys, how are you guys doing today? First of all, let me immediately tell you. I played the game yesterday, maybe maybe two, two and a half hours. And this is one of the coolest games that I've ever tried to play in my life. I'm not even... It's, it's hard to explain. It's hard for some intergalactic war crimes, exactly, yeah. Cap capitalism simulator. The game is a capitalism simulator. You're literally fighting for two companies. Or actually, for any company. How's it going today, guys? Hopefully it's going doing fine. So... What I was saying, <laughs> armor Toto, yeah, we are, we are armored today. I was playing the game yesterday, and it's really, really cool. Like, I, I'm gonna, we're gonna play it immediately. Today, we're gonna do a shorter stream because I just want to kind of review the game. Let's call it like that. For anybody who is not sure if he's gonna want to buy it or not, I definitely recommend it because it's such a weird and fresh experience. So I'll definitely recommend this game for you guys. But let me just get into it. It's really hard to explain to you why this game is interesting to me. Uh, Kira, what's up? Uh, Chocolate, Chocolate, what's up? Uh, Lord, what's up? Secondo, what's up? Currently doing Hollow Knight grinding for Vertebrae Shackles House. Things for you, pretty good, my man. I'm very, very happy because this game released in very, very good, like... Uh, it released in very, very, in a very, very good state, and I really am loving it right now. I saw somebody want to try the bazooka. First of all, let's do it like this. Let me just grab my bazooka. Actually, I don't have a bazooka yet. Uh, th th this is what I want to showcase to you. This, this game has unironically more customize customizability than any of the From Software games than any of the other Souls games that currently exist. I am just at the beginning and I can already buy like 20, 30 different things here. So the customizability is insane. But this is what I want to actually showcase to you guys. Let's choose a mission first. So first of all, the game is mission based. So you go into a mission, you clear the mission and you're done. It's like Monster Hunter basically. <laughs> I finally beaten Ina Rishin and the Bill Demon and Kuro Chamsu. Nice, good man. That's actually a very, very amazing. Khalil, what's up? Let's pop into a mission and show, let me show it to you guys why this game is so goddamn cool as fuck. You'll see how cool it actually looks when we are in the mission. Uh, by the way, guys, is the sound for the game alright? Hopefully it's not too loud or too... or like... too low on volume. It should be okay. I tested it before. It's alright, thanks. You're basically... In a nutshell, the stories about Armor Core games are always the same. You fight for companies, you're basically contracted by companies to destroy the other companies. And the game has branching paths during the, like, the entirety of the game, so if you sample perform missions for one company, you're not gonna be able to perform missions for another company. So the game has some replayability in that sense. Also, New Game Plus in this game like, uh, unlocks different types of missions that couldn't be accessed before. There is multiplayer, yeah. There is PvP. What's the biggest Elder Dragon monster hunt you ever gotten? I don't know what's the biggest, but I know what's my favorite. Currently, Waldstrax. Waldstrax is insane. So, this is what we get. We get a starting mission. We get 80,000 euros, because for some reason they choose the euro sign for here. And we're just gonna pop into a mission. By the way, I'm playing on mouse and keyboard. Because I honestly prefer shooters on mouse and keyboard. Alright, let's go. This is basically the start of every mission. Like, they just show you this awesome cutscene of you going into the world. <clears throat> from what I know, from what I heard, the game is around 12 hours long, so it's quite a short game, actually. But honestly, it's kind of like an old-school game. No AC grip, yeah. This is the game. First of all, I gotta give props to From Software. The graphics in and of itself, like, textures are not actually that detailed, but the design stylistically of the game, my god. Doesn't it look like it just sty stylistically? They really have one of those best artists in the entirety of the nice armor. Yeah, it's really cool. First time seeing Toto playing on keyboard. Yeah, uh, it feels weird playing on keyboard actually because I haven't actually played on keyboard that much. But uh, I'm just gonna explain the movement here because honestly, if you buy the game, you're gonna experience it for yourself. But my search for in this game is going to be the Moonlight Greatsword because I know the Moonlight Greatsword exists in this game and I want to find it. So basically, these early game missions are actually very easy to just get you... It basically just wants to get you accustomed to the controls and everything. Little lucky did the Rani cosplay. Yes, I saw that. It was hilarious, man. Honestly, for I'm definitely going to do like a melee-only playthrough for this game because honestly, it deserves kind of like a playthrough of that. Shoot some rockets. Very easy solution. We also have a shield, guys, by the way, so we can block attacks. Very, very good to have. 
Again, these early game missions are very, very easy. It's just basically here to get you accustomed to the controls and everything like that. These enemies just don't have enough firepower to deal with us currently. But I'm gonna tell you immediately, boss fights are hard, guys. Moonlight shield, yeah. Boss fights are very, very hard. I fought one... I fought the tutorial boss, he killed me five times. So we know we are in a Souls game. The tutorial boss was pretty hard for him. Game is not too loud, perfect. And uh, the one of the lead game designers actually making this game was the guy who designed Sekiro. So the combat fluidity is par is bar none. Like I don't know if there is any more fluid combat that I can actually think of. First time I played AC4 demo. Yeah, AC4 is actually really really similar to this one. AC4 is a bit faster. This one is a little bit slower. What do you think of checkpoints, by the way, Toto? I like them. I honestly don't like that I've, that you would be reset, for example, completely back to the first mission or like the beginning of the mission. I don't really like I, I, it makes the game harder, but honestly, I think the game can be made harder in better ways. Like checkpoints should not be a real way to make the game harder, in my opinion. This inspires me to make mech 3 models, maybe good idea. Uh, oh, what's up? How are you today? All right, where is the boss? That's what I want. Uh, some idiots not. Nothing too out of the ordinary here. That's hard to deal with. That's a big boy. That's definitely a big boy. So the way you do, the way you actually play this game is by avoiding damage most of the time. So mobility, like in Doom Eternal, is very, very important. Like you just need to be completely on your toes. Shield, block attack, and destroy the big boy. This is a mini boss, basically. You have, he you have the ability to heal yourself a little bit in this game, just you know. And that's a stagger. So when the enemy gets into that, like, red bar zone, that's a stagger. And you can get some free so. But he should be dead. The stagger bar is above the health. The health is below the stagger bar. That's how this shit works. Fire some missiles. Bam, 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 and goodbye. The total mecha 3D model, yeah, kind of. Okay, what's the objective? We need to clear out the outposts. Like Sekiro, yeah, it's basically... I mean, I'm not gonna say it's like Sekiro, it's, it, it takes that Sekiro element from it. So we're destroying helicopters so the other company can't actually use them anymore. I don't think there is actually death blows. Like, that's the one thing that's missing. There are no death blows, but Sekiro mechanics are definitely felt. Just the fluid combat feels like Sekiro, honestly. I would like to show you guys one boss fight. Should be the end of the mission, right? That's it for this job. Yep. Some missions are very short, some missions are very long. This is one of the shorter missions. This is just like the, the base, basic beginner tutorial missions. The giant helicopter? Yeah. My triceps are armored. And this is something very interesting for me. So, at the end of every mission, you have repair costs and ammunition costs. The more you shoot, the more you spend. Capitalism simulator. <laughs> Lockout program, nice. I still need to learn a lot about this game. But for today, Transformer X Titan, it's really not really like that. Like, I can't... Like, you need to play the game to actually get a feel for it, honestly. Like, it's really, really difficult to explain. It's very, very unique. Like, mech games are few and far between, guys. Like, Titanfall is not really a mech game, it's a shooter. This is really, really a unique experience, definitely, indeed. We'll see if anybody does a hitless runner. That would be interesting. A hitless runner of this game and a speed run would actually be really, really, really fun to see. But we'll see how that goes. Since we are only in the early game missions, I don't feel the need to actually customize anything yet. Titanfall is badass, I agree. Definitely a good game, game concept. It's an open call from the Archivist group. To all independent mercenaries. This request comes from Schneider of the Archivist So that's another company, okay. Schneider Company, fantastic. Now we're in Germany again. With Balaam, has introduced a new tester AC. It's a sample model from an external architect. Ah, we're Drinking fighting an AC, interesting. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of like PvP combat right now. Pilot, or somewhat of PvP combat. Kira, thanks for the compliment. I hope you enjoy the content. Watch out for the video coming up next week, guys. And by the way, like the stream if you haven't. Liking the stream helps out a lot. Happy hunting indeed.
Okay, my mission is to find the Moonlight Greatsword, but that's not going to be that easily to find. I know it exists in the game, though. There is the Moonlight Greatsword somewhere in the game, and I really want to find it, guys. Also, there's probably going to be patches in this game as well. There is no way they have not included patches in this game. Patches existed in previous Armor Core games, but we don't know about this one yet. Load. Main system, thank you. Alright. Walter White is dishing out missions, and let's go. <laughs> yeah, girls nickname me Toto, yeah, exactly. I was not a player, I was just being annoyed by girls. That's basically just a bit... And that's another AC, okay. That pilot is a beginner and he's already destroying me. What the hell? Okay. I cannot recommend this game enough. Like, it's just so fun to play. Nope. Shield. Bam. Bam. In this game, though, rolls or dodges are not actually iframed. So you actually need to just space projectiles and things like that. You cannot, like, dash through en enemy attacks. I think it's way later in the game, probably, yeah. I don't suspect we're gonna get... Although, that's actually not true, Chocolate. Like, in one of the Armor Core games previously, you get the Moonlight Greatsword, like, literally immediately. Like, almost on the beginning of the game. Drip Yosuke, what's up? How are you doing? Oof. How's the game? Really, really good. I like it. It's very, really, really fun. Like... People are shitting already on the game, just so you know, guys. Like, P they're shitting on the PvP. Like, that's that's the only complaint they have. PvE wise, it feels amazing. It really does feel like a game that has a, a lot of potential. Well, well, well. Walter. Walter White, LMB Stvart, what's up? How are you doing? It's gonna be two, three chapters in, probably, maybe. We'll see. We will see, we'll see. There is no content out yet for, like, Armor Core besides, like, the guys who actually got, like, the game three weeks earlier. So they probably found the Armor Moonlight Greatsword, but... It's usually very well hidden. Very well hidden. This might be the last time I'm here, why? What's the problem, my man? So I guess you can say you're not Russian with your gameplay. <laughs> I'm not Russian, I'm Croatian. Alright. About the tester AC you downed. That was being shipped to the red guns. What do you want for this color scheme? Da uh, anything dark, like Bailos dark reds and darks, like That's black. No Degenerate, thanks for the donation, man. Really appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. A lot. Alright, what are the missions? I need a bazooka. Let's buy a bazooka. I want to try something out here, guys. Give me the gun. DF Bay XK Gjungje. This is a Chinese. This is a Chinese rifle. Average Imperial Enjoy. What's up? How are you? It's a bazooka developed by Dafeg Core Industries. Fun. Chinese bazooka. Let's go. And the problem is only we need to replace the sword. I think, right? That's sad. I don't really want to replace the sword, but we'll try the bazooka. Degenerate, thanks for the donation, man. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. Now let's try the bazooka out. Okay, this is a very cool mission. I see this before. This looks like a cannon. I mean, yeah. Got a job for you, I saw the Moonlight Sword on Twitter, but not the animation. It's probably the same animation as the as the blade, but the attack power is probably increased. I'll find the Moonlight Greatsword. I don't care. I feel like we're just fighting for two German companies. One, of the, one is named Walter, the other one is named Schneider. Yeah, the camo looks really, really good. I didn't spoil myself, no. But if you don't want to get spoiled, don't watch this. Elden Beast part, just worry about your test, don't worry about anything else. You're always wel welcomed here, my friend. Yeah, Deutsche, yeah. <laughs> we, are we are playing a Japanese game. Played by a Croatian guy fighting for two German companies. 
and using a Chinese bazooka. Perfect. Count content, fantastic. It's protected by a shield. Put your Schneider away, Volta. <laughs> oh, Miyazaki. This concludes the briefing. Good luck. Arquebus Corp. Multicultia. No racism here, basically. All right, let's go. I want to see the, the camo looks very, very good. Like, you can customize your AC, like, almost completely. The only thing that, uh, like, the only thing that this game currently lacks is, like, solid PvP. Like, it has only lobby system. It doesn't have, like, matchmaking, which is a little bit annoying. So I can't actually hop into a game very easily, so... Uh, hopefully it's gonna, like, like, improve upon the PvP a little bit. But PvP-wise, we don't need anything, man. Alright. This mission I saw beforehand, we basically need to assault a massive Star Wars. Uh, what are they even called? I forgot what the what the walking things from Star Wars are called, like the machine things. An unidentified AT AT, yeah, exactly. Thank you. The AT ATs. So that's basically what we're doing right now. Uh, because in a minute, minute the fog will clear. Get in the Gundam? Yeah, this is this is 100% a Japanese game. Like this is Neon Genesis even. Oh my, what the fuck? Okay, watch out for the laser, Toto. We watch out for the laser. This is a mining ship. What the hell? Can it dodge us? Oh my god! All right. Rockets. Oh, we need to dodge this. By the way, uh, the middle gray bar that you see on the screen—that's your stamina bar, basically. You can't do actions like you. You need to. You need to manage your actions, basically. Take out one of its legs. And bring Take out one of its legs. No problem. Absolutely no problem. We'll shoot all the legs. This is basically taking down AT-AT mission, guys. Literally. This is Star Wars in a nutshell. And the bazooka. Bazooka is actually a good choice for this one. Dodge! 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 Nice, one down. HC flashbacks with the red AT, yeah. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Bazooka time! It's going down? It's going down. Nice. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Wait, is that the end of the mission? Don't tell me killing one Strider is like literally the end of the mission. That thing is huge? It is. It's a big dog on the consecrated snowfield, yeah. Ah, okay, so we just use this as a foothold. By the way, the like the game looks hard to play, but it's not actually that difficult to like get used to. It really is very, very like modernized. Like it's not like the previous ACs, but they just like throw you in the throw you in as cannon fodder immediately and let basically let you like figure shit out on yourself. Oh, Hatsenzo, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, my man. New new game is amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it, guys. Okay, what are we doing right now? We need to get over there, right? Bam! Okay, let's try to get up there. Cue the fire giants. <laughs> let's try to get on the AT-AT. That's what I'm referring to it from now on. Did you miss my jokes? Maybe I did, like, I'm trying to focus on the game, man. So if I miss anything, I apologize. Uh, what the hell is this? Okay, destroy the core, I guess. Can we block this? We can? Jesus Christ. Wait, we need to destroy the generators. Okay. Got it. We need to avoid the laser until we destroy the generators. We need a mountaintop's golem? Maybe, yeah. Bam, bam, bam. I should really use the bazooka. Okay, let's heal. We have basically three healings per mission from what I've gathered. Which is actually good enough. I meant like sympathetic. Oh, okay. <laughs> One repair kit is not good enough. Wait, can we avoid the laser attack? Laser attack is incoming, I can already foretell. Bazooka attack! Bye bye! 
Where's the last one? Blue. Did I just get hit by Rani's Dark Moon? Yes. The mechanized version of Rani's Dark Moon, basically, guys. Ah, I'm gonna pull down. No! God damn it. Managing stamina. The fuck? Huh. So, I did not want to actually fall down there. Interesting. Let's try to get back up. Stamina, ma ma stamina management is actually really difficult, guys. Like, it's actually really, really hard to manage your stamina in this one. How many guys are going... How many of you guys are actually going to try this game out? I'm actually curious. I definitely recommend it, but I understand why you might, might want to try it out. It, it is a bit expensive. Go! Can we place fire in the ass? Oh my god, what? How, what, how do I avoid this? How do I avoid this? Basically, just get close. Bazooka attack. Get close, get close. Or stagger. That seems to do the trick as well. Come on, Bazooka attack. Actually, I need to shoot the eye perfectly for it to actually connect. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. I'm wasting too much money. Get close. Wait, that doesn't avoid it? What the hell? How do I avoid it? It's really a mechanized fire giant, maybe. Uh, imagine a mechanized fire giant, guys. Honestly, imagine. By the way, this is not a boss fight. This is just like... Normal enemy. Yeah, boost managers does need to be very important, but... I'm very, very new to this franchise, so I need to get used to it. I'll bite on hold. They say that's probably a good idea. This is... A, I think the checkpoints... Okay. So people have asked me about... Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think the checkpoints are a bit too generous. Like, for example, I should not be reset to this place, in my opinion. I should be reset to, like, a little bit further away. Because right now I have full heals. I'm much better prepared than previous time. Like a previous death. And I also suck. I also suck badly, guys. Okay. I might be able to pull this off. Yeah, you need to really manage stamina here. It's not as easy as it seems. If you don't have stamina to dodge things, you're in a bad state. You need to be able to dodge these things. Dodge. And now we shoot. Hopefully we connect. Oh! Boost, boost, boost! Don't kill me! Shoot! And there we go. <laughs> they are breaking the Death Star, yeah, exactly. It feels like Star Wars, honestly. Like Japanese Star Wars. But if was doing the same game, no hit last night, he got it like a month in advance, man. Like, he already played the game through like twice, probably. I'll play it when my bullet can bite, I understand fully, man. I wish we- I wish From Software would sponsor more, like, game creators actually around them. Because, honestly, for example, imagine from software sponsoring me and, uh, and me just giving you to giving you to giving you like guys discounts for the game. That would be amazing. But that's not really gonna happen, right? Explosion! Very nice. Now we just escape. Bye bye. GG indeed, dog. The game is a visual spectacle. Graphics are not the best, but the game itself is a visual spectacle, definitely. Can we complain about that part? Ah, it is hard. It's still very, very hard to speak English for me. But uh, the thing is about learning English is one thing. Actually being very efficient in speaking English is very, very hard. Like, efficiency takes like 10 plus, 10 to 15 years of practice. To actually get down perfectly, like this is gonna not gonna happen overnight. Like, never look back when things explode, bro. Michael Bay has nothing on this man. One, he has zero on this. 
English is nonsensical. Your You're doing great, thank you, man. Hope you like the content. I am thrilled to have issued you the request. English is not nonsensical, but the problem is I'm Croatian. And, uh, like, a Russian, like, for example, it takes a lot of inspiration from the Russian language. And it's really hard to combine, like, a Russian accent or, like, Croatian accent with English words. It's, it's Some words are just impossible to pronounce. It takes, like, mental effort to pronounce every single word, basically. Alright, attack the damn complex. Again, I want to find one boss, and we are gonna conclude it on that one, because if I find a boss... Uh, wait, can we buy new parts, guys? Let's see. Shall we go double machine gun? I might just go double machine gun and say fuck it. Uh, let me buy the other machine gun here. Let me just see if I can go without the sword for once. Let's remove the bazooka. Let's grab another machine gun. This is actually a burst rifle. Let's try that one. Uh, experimentation is definitely rewarding in this game. Bro, I went out for popcorn, what the fuck happened? Everything, man. This game is very, very fast. Like, th this game is mission-based at Tenzo. So you complete one mission, you're on to the next one immediately. And some, uh, the, the beginning missions are a little bit shorter. Mid-rate suppression might be meta. We'll see. The game is literally released yesterday, so... Actually, today. It's really, really fast, but it goes like this. It's just action, 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 and action. There is no stopping, basically. There is no... There is no torrent riding to complete the setup. We don't need to collect billions of golden seeds and sacred tears. We just go into the action immediately. It's like Monster Hunter. That's, if you played Monster Hunter, the, the mission design is basically the same. You take a contract, you go. It's very much an old school game. And I honestly like it like that. Honestly, old school old school game designs need to come back to the world. Old school game designs were the best, in my opinion. Uh, does it have a Soulsborne hero feel? Uh, yes and no. It definitely feels like a From Software game. That's the thing. I don't I don't judge games by Souls games. I judge them, are they From Software games or not? It's definitely a From Software game. It, the boss fights definitely feel like From Software game. It's like you kill one monster to kill the other. Yeah. It's basically like that. Old school game design, basically. Wait. Are you friend or foe? We have friends, guys. And we have two machine guns. Let's go. Samuel, what's up? How are you doing today? Hope you're doing fine, man. Alright. Multiple lock on. Fire the rockets. Bam, bam, bam. Another machine gun. Bam, 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 bam. Absolute explosion. Like, as, as a man who really likes Doom Eternal, this feels very, 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 very at home, guys. Like, you just need to move around. It's, it's a mistake to stop. It's really a mistake. Be constantly on the move. And I love it. I love frantic combat. Frantic combat is probably... Besides, like, Dark Souls 1, where it's not, where it's very, very like, chill combat, Frantic Combat is the best. Doom is peak, yeah. If you like Doom, you will like this one, definitely. It really feels like they took inspiration from those good games. Bam! Alright. Rip and tear, yeah. I, I, definitely, if I ever do a video about this, the entirety of the Doom soundtrack is gonna be in the background, guys. Like, I'm just gonna put Mick Gordon on and we're gonna have a blast. Problem is figuring out challenge runs for this game. Oh, if I actually do them at all. We'll see. I might do, like, one if I come, come up with a good one. I won't discount it. Bam! And by the way, I'm, I will not do a full playthrough of this, we will just do it today, uh, because I want to advertise it a little bit, because it's not going to have a uh, big of a success as Elden Ring, of course. Which is a shame, because it definitely is deserving of it. This is my opinion. Okay, that's a direct hit with a bazooka. Not really good, never get hit by a bazooka. Basically, 
like, in these games, like, normal missions, you're not gonna die often. But that's not the goal. The goal is to do it as efficiently as possible. And as beautifully as possible, basically. As fast as possible. If you remember, like, in old games, you would always try to beat a high score. That's basically the same in this game. Waste the least amount of money in the fastest amount of time. Let's go. Bazooka only run, yeah. I don't think that's actually a good idea. Because this game definitely is gonna punish you if you just use one type of setup. Like, some... Some enemies are just gonna not going to be able to be taken down with, like, specific setups. You need to change your mech constantly. That's the fun in this game. Removing that would be removing the fun from the game. Where is the AC? Bro, but they actually managed to remodernize like the entirety of the game. It actually feels so good to play. Like it's n it's probably not as fun to look at as it is, as it is to play, guys. Honestly, like playing it feels much different than actually looking at it. Uh, I can say that because I actually looked at a lot of the footage and now I'm playing it. Brother, where is the AC? What the fuck? Okay, there is. Bam, bam. Should be dead here very soon, right? Okay, rockets. Get closer, hard lock on. It's a direct hit for me. Shield. Rockets again. This is why you need a sword, honestly. The sword is actually the best weapon in the game, guys, honestly. If you just get in up close anybody and destroy them. This is basically how PvP looks like, by the way. When you're fighting a 1v1 AC. This guy doesn't like corporations, it seems. This is a mini boss fight. Actually, this is a boss fight, honestly. This is basically what boss fights look like, but you have allies here, so it's very, very much easier right now. Come on, how much health do you have, man? Jesus Christ. So what bar is my health? It's the AP bar to the left of the screen. So where it says AP 7350, that's the that's the that's the HP bar basically. AP meaning armor points. Words of wisdom to live by. Never get hit by a bazooka. I. There's no way anybody can dis disagree with me on that part. All right. One AC down. Let's continue. Bam. This is what they definitely took from Elden Ring. Spirit Springs. <laughs> you don't have Spirit Springs in this game, but you have platforms that launch you up in the air. It's kind of cool. Okay, destroy the radio towers. Let's go. Get the tattoo? Not yet. I need to actually go and make an appointment and everything like that. I need to wait for summer to actually be over because... Uh, the heat is making, like, very, very hard. To do anything, like, it's, it's better to do, like, tattoos in the summer, in the winter, when you don't actually want to go to, like, the beach or something like that. Oh, imagine if this was actually the Elden Ring DLC, guys. <laughs> we had a mech crossover into the DLC, that would be amazing. You know what they, you know how they did with, like, Monster Hunter, like, basically, they made crossovers between Monster Hunter and Final Fantasy, Street Fighter, and things like that? Imagine a crossover Armor Core Elden Ring. You get a fucking mech into the game. Now that I said that somebody's gonna mod his... Armored Core mech into Elden Ring, and you're gonna do a playthrough of that. They're Whirly Springs. Okay. They're definitely Whirly Springs. Okay, I agree. He must be the handler, I presume. Godric the back for revenge. Yeah, sure. Honor to make your acquaintance, V2 Snail. Handler Walter, Walter Snail. You want to join Operation Mark Walter about to have a hard time, yeah. Definitely. You realize that disposing of some Liberation front garbage hardly qualifies you. Know your place, you I did see that Lego Dark Souls rebuild. Yeah, it's amazing. I hear you're deploying V1 again. I love those kind of little shenanigans. It was actually really fun. One good pilot to rely on. The game had an audience of 150,000 viewers yesterday on Twitch, I think. Like, it seems like every new game released is gonna have, like, a big audience at the beginning. 
I wonder what the Steam charts are actually saying about the player base. I'll check that later on. Let me give me a nice hard boss fight. That's what I really want. You should stream it, bro. Lego Dark Souls? Nah. It's not a good stream idea for me. Alright. Also, G5 Iguazu. How the hell do they come up with these names? This looks like One Piece territory. Honestly, I'm gonna have to replay this game just because just to get the story down, right? Because there, there seems to be a lot of like aspects to it. Alright, uh, the game does offer a little bit new parts. Very nice. Let's see what the parts are. Ha! Handleman, nice. What the hell is this? Bro, wh why is the Halo gun in this game? Plasma rifle. This is literally the Halo gun. This is literally the plasma rifle from Halo. What? Okay. Interesting. Let's buy the plasma rifle from Halo. I don't care. Uh, I'll buy other upgrades. Vertical plasma missile launch. Jesus Christ. Uh, what is this? 8 cell vertical missile launch developed by Furlox. Laser cannon. Yeah, I'm getting the laser cannon. Fuck that. Uh, AC design. Let me show you training, guys. Like, if you need help, like, there's always just training exercise here that you can do. Binaurid Thunder. It's code name. Yeah. Alright, let's go... Bazooka. Let's go... Sword. Jackal sniper so precise they shoot you from a mile away, yeah. True. Operation Wall Climber. Oh! Is this the very hard boss fight? I think this is the very hard boss fight, guys. Always keep an eye on the money. I don't think in this game you're gonna be heavily punished if you run out of money, honestly. I don't think it goes like that. Okay, we have a hard boss fight in front of us, guys. Shall we go for the plasma rifle? How are the hornets? The, the hornets are gone the long, long way. What is reverse joint? Reverse joint? <laughs> it's a reverse joint. Uh, it's basically a type of legs that you can actually equip, equip. Let's give this mission a try. I know there is a boss fight at the end of this mission. I did spoil myself at the beginning of these games. This request comes straight from Used to in the old ones? Yeah, I know. In the old ones, if you get bankrupt, you get sent to the beginning of the game, basically. Yeah? It's not in this one, I think. I think it's not in this one. Could be wrong. Basically, in the previous games... Oh, the spider legs, yeah. And this actually, no, there, there is a different type of thing, spider legs. Reverse joints are basically like cat legs. I don't know how to better explain it. Uh, I think there is a 100% refund, yes. You can sell all parts for, like, refund. So you can just get your money back. The juggernaut. Yeah, okay, that, that, that's the hard boss fight, guys. Let's do the boss fight. And that's what I'm gonna end on. Because I want to play this game in peace and uh, calm, basically. It's not really a playthrough game for me. <laughs> okay, Samuel, that's actually a great joke, honestly. I'll, I'll steal the joke from now on. A reverse joint is a joint you smoke to get sober. My god. A five head. Five head behavior right there. Let's go. Your objective is to take the Liberation Front Fortress, the Wall. The Wall. Show them you're worth the credits. Six two one. Let's go. We have two plasma rifles. Okay, we have a plasma rifle and a plasma sword. So hopefully this is gonna go well. I know people have been saying that the Juggernaut is a very very hard boss. So let's see what's he got. Let's see what he's got. I know we're gonna also have help in this one, so probably a little bit easier. Catlets are dictigrate? What? What does that even mean? Why am I getting hit like an idiot? Oh, the plasma. Let me immediately fail the mission at the beginning, so I can just restart this, okay? I took two very stupid hits, guys. There is basically, in this game, there is no way to fail a mission, because you just restart from the checkpoint. 
I don't think it actually like messes up with your like money. I think it's a little bit too easy from that point of view. Main system. Activating combat mode. That's the turn for that. That kind of lags. Interesting. Didn't know that. Did not know that, man. I did not know that that's like that kind of like had actually any turns. Insane. Take out the Gatling cannons protecting the city. Yeah, let's try not to get hit like an idiot. Let's the deforestation incoming. Let's go. Keep an eye out for cover. Okay, honestly, with these cannons shooting at me, I guess the best thing is this. Just get immediately onto the wall. If the cannons are a problem, we destroy the cannons. Plasma. Jesus Christ. See, you can get staggered, like in Sekiro, basically. Like, if you get hit in a very, very weird angle, at a particular moment, you get staggered. Uh, allowing enemies to dish out attacks on you a lot. Visually, guys, the game looks really, really nice. It's really nice to look at. Okay. They're mocking you. Immediately onto the wall. That's one done. Plasma attack. Okay, plasma rifles seem to be the way to go in this place. They destroy them immediately, which is very nice. And now we need to get on top of the wall. Posture, right? Yeah, basically posture. I mean, it's literally posture, actually. No, my boy, you die. How did that hit me? Jesus Christ. Okay, need to be very careful here, guys. This guy has a lot of HP. Pick up the shield and destroy it. Bye-bye. Take care of the cannons first, and let's move on to the boss fight. To easily destroy the targets. Honestly, I think a hitless run of this game is going to be like completely impossible, guys. It doesn't seem like it's ever going to be doable. <laughs> but I might be proven very wrong immediately. I was thinking about the hitless runs for this game, but how? How, how would that even be possible, man? It's way too much shit going around. Destroy the artillery, very nice. Now we can't get hit from the back. Let's kill the targets. There is not a no hit run video, no. Uh, what video is just literally clickbaiting you guys? He never beat, he never no hit the entire game. He like, he like barely no hit the first chapter. It's gonna take like if if it, if a no hit run actually comes out, Gino is not. I don't think it's Gino is actually gonna play this game. If a no hit run actually comes to the south, it's gonna take like two months to make. There's no way somebody is going to like from day one figure it out. The game is not that simple. Bam. I did play C21 and Coin Break. It took it looked cartoon, but same energy as AC. Did not play those games, but if you say so, I agree with you. That's stupid? Yeah, I agree that's stupid. I don't like when people shoot by that hard. It's like that. Oh, yeah, I'm not even gonna talk about it, there's no point. But yeah, nobody did, nobody did a no hit game for this game or anything. Definitely not. But it does seem to be possible in some scenarios that you can maybe get a hitless run in. All right, bam. Let's go to the boss fight. I'm probably gonna play through this game like the in this week, guys. Like in one week, I'm probably gonna get the, have the game down, and then I have my complete opinion on it. But for now, I love it very much. I'm fast. Thank you. Bam! Bam! But remember, even Balaam couldn't crack the wall. Don't count on him too much. My hopes got destroyed, yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought immediately. Multi lock on. Bam. 
And bam. By the way, there are no backstabs in this game, but if, he, if you hit somebody from the back, it does do a lot more damage. My face suits better in an Elden Ring team. That's because you're used to seeing me in an Elden Ring team. Don't worry, man. I, this, won't be the, this, this won't be the focus of the channel at all. I don't think this is gonna fit the channel at all, but... Uh, definitely a good game to play. Like, I'll still do just mostly, like, Souls games. Like, that's what I really like. That's what I really enjoy. I'm making a mech for you. I have Artoria sword and any other weapons you want. Honestly, just Artoria sword and shield would be my, it would be nice. That would be amazing. That would be actually really amazing. <laughs> Marina, what's up? I've dispatched a supply Sherpa. Make sure you resupply. Uh, resupply. Okay. Oh, interesting. So there are resupply points during missions. Uh, this is currently on PC. Okay, we ha we're having a boss fight today, guys. This is currently on PC, but the game is out on PS4, PS5, uh, Xbox, and uh, everything. Uh, these are basically reverse joints, guys. Those are reverse joints. Those legs. I, I, I refuse to believe that the main character we're working for is called Volter. Why is Volter White giving you emissions? This is the boss fight, guys. You ready to climb the wall? Yes, my friend. Let's go. That's the juggernaut, heavy mobile cannon. Oh my god. I wouldn't recommend taking it head on. Okay, we hit it from the back. No problem, my friend. Okay, blind spot is probably the back, right? Okay, we are dishing out a lot of damage here. Need to watch out stamina here, guys. Bam. Bam, stagger, immediately stagger. GG. Okay. Oh my god. I did spoil myself a little bit how to beat this boss fight. You basically just need to get, get into the back. Get around his ass. And into the back. And then he can't do much to you, but he's still very, very dangerous. Heal, heal, heal. And now we have a problem. This is the second phase where the other AC leaves and we basically need to defeat him on ourselves. It's easier said than done. Now getting to the back is not as easy, guys. The problem is he's heavily armored from the front. So you can't actually... Okay, this seems to be the way to do it. Get from the back. Ah, fucking damn it. Yeah, how would you even attempt to no-hit this, guys? Honestly. Does anybody have an idea? I'm back. Haru, what's up? Are today? No repair kit remaining. It's gonna be interesting. Okay, Jesus Christ. I think I just need to fly over it and then... Basically try to kill it. Nope, not me, yeah. Just dodge. There's no dodging here. <laughs> There's only death. That's the juggernaut. Heavy mobile okay, I was drinking water. That was disrespectful. Immediately stagger. Nice. Okay, Jesus Christ, what the hell is this guy doing the Ele Eleonora's Twin Blade attack? What was that? Okay, like... Stamina, stamina. Need to be not too close to him. Get into light load and have quick rolls? Yeah, that would be a good idea. There is actually a way to get into light load. Just so you know. <laughs> like... Being heavy in this game is not a good idea. This is a very hard boss fight, guys. Not sure what to need to do here. I think we need to hit him from the from the sky, basically. That seems to be the way to do it.
There we go. Yeah, basically hit him from the back. Mm, don't have any repair kits. That's a little bit problematic. Come on, my boy. Ah! So close yet so far. Ah, fuck. This is the problem. When he runs away, then it becomes definitely a problem. Okay. If I get a stagger, he's dead. My mom is getting a stagger though. Just head up and hit him. You can't. Jump on head and hit. That's what I'm gonna do, yeah. That seems like the strategy. Bro, his tackle made me jump. Why? <laughs> and stagger. Rockets, cannons, galore. Bam, bam. Hit with Mario special, yeah, basically. Jump on his head. I'm not sure he, this guy even has a head, but whatever. We jump on, and we hit. This seems to be their strategy, guys. Why is this guy using the Eleonora's pole blade? Like, I'm confused, guys. This guy is literally channeling Elden Ring in this game. Ooh! Mm. What the hell? Okay, if he's charging, I can't actually get close to him. God damn it. No stamina! Okay, let's go. Much better than previously. But we're still in deep shit here, guys. Mm, that cannon is not really the best thing here. Okay, it's another hit. No! Okay, he staggered, right? Come on, finish him! Nice! Let's go. Second try, or third try. John Rubicon for real, guys. John Rubicon for real. Oh yeah, that was amazing. Difficult, but amazing. Water boss, yeah. <laughs> Look at the beautiful game, man. My god. Like, I like dystopian nightmares. Like, futuristic dystopian nightmares are definitely my, my niche. <clears throat> this one fits right into it. Perfect, perfectly. 400,000 euros, thank you. And I will use it to buy more bazookas. <clears throat> That's what I'm gonna do. <clears throat> New message. Good old RX-72 versus Big Zam. What? We're war buddies now. I think I should Are there any sexy robots in this game? We might there be able to create like anime... Arkham anime sexy girls later on. You. I think you can like slap on anime girls on your AC if you really want to, guys. Oh, let me show you that immediately, guys. Three times also your dagger only Malina killed with two shots, yeah. I don't remember. That tackle was scarier than my GF morning face. Nothing is scarier than my GF's morning face, honestly. Nothing. Alright. Alright, let me show you guys what you can do. If you if you want to do something cool. In the paint. Excuse me, guys. In the paint option. So you basically want to, if you want to slap on something like on your AC, you can basically just upload a picture. Uh, image editor. There is some way to actually make pictures here. I actually haven't figured that exactly out yet. But I know there are ways. There is definitely things you can put on your AC. Like customization is pretty big. There is 100% of ways something you can download. Or somebody's gonna make something. We'll see. But we need to let time to actually go past that by. And... The other thing that I really want to show guys here. It's the first Gundam. Oh, okay, nice. Didn't know that. I haven't watched Gundam in a long time. Uh, let's see the missions. More missions over here. AC test, if you want to test your AC. Okay, so let's do the training missions and then we call it for the day. I basically showcase everything that I want. The game is amazing. I love it. 
Let's try tank ACs. Just want to try tanks. <clears throat> the game is amazing, I love it. I said I'm gonna do a shorter stream today, because I'm gonna leave this uploaded to YouTube. Tank parts and strategy. Fire rapid, use right shoulder, use left shoulder. How do tanks even feel? This does not feel like a tank, guys. This feels like a fucking... This is some German WW... This is some German World War II machine, my god, what the hell. Now we fire other missile. Okay, tanks feel really good, nice. Little Addy make his cat logo in game? Oh, nice. Then you can actually make anything, man. Then you can actually make anything. So, the tank is pretty much what we would expect, guys. What the hell is drifting? Wait, you can drift in this game? What? Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, you can drift in this game, interesting. The tanks have a big upside here, they have a lot more HP. Stagger. Rockets. So these guys have way too much HP. Come on, my boy. How much health do you have? A bit too much for my tastes. Getting hit from the back. It seems like tanks are very much slower and hard to avoid attacks with. That's what they seem like. That's one down. Now we should be okay. Okay. Antonio Bat Toretto, yeah, the drifting AC machine, guys. The drifting AC machine. Tanks feel really cool. The fact that you can actually make a tank in a game just feels really cool to me, guys. Look at this absolute war machine. <laughs> Bro, I need this in real life. Like, this, this is not enough in game. I need this in real life, guys. German military back then be like, yeah, this is basically what they want to make, right? And if you complete training missions, you get, like, different parts and things like that. There's one thing I need to do, guys. There's one thing I need to do. As previously stated, I'll leave this up on YouTube, like, this entire stream. I don't want to do a whole playthrough on, uh, on, on stream. That's not what I want to do. I just want to showcase the game. <laughs> IRL dropkicking kids would be a good idea. Uh, where do I... Edit name. We are renaming ourselves to John Armor Core. And I will find the Moonlight Great, so that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna say. I definitely recommend the game. The game is really, really fun to play. It's like super, 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 super enjoyable. The problem is, there is no way for you to, for me to sell it, sell it to, sell the game to you guys because you really need to play it to to see if you like it or not. Just looking at it doesn't really provide you with enough information. I am unsubscribing. Why, Hudsense? <laughs> Don't tell me I did something wrong. Hmm. Can you make a video of the sword then? Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll definitely do some sort of challenge run for this game. That's definitely gonna happen. But I need to play through the game first. But, I'm not gonna leave you guys empty-handed. Uh, there is going to be a video released next week on the no dodge, no roll, no healing, blah 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 run. The insanely difficult run. And next week we are doing Dark Souls 3. We are doing a randomizer for Dark Souls 3, guys. That's where we're gonna start next week. And, I also found a way to beat Dark Souls 1 without any weapons. So only, fist only. Dark Souls 1, basically. Uh, Serkan ST, thanks for uh, jo joining the memberships, man. Really appreciate it, man. Yeah, guys. Today is my off day. I need to actually go edit videos right now. I will not even be playing Armored Core 6 because that's the kind of work that I have today. But next week, we're back on our scheduled program with Dark Souls and Elden Ring. Don't worry, guys. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great morning, evening, afternoon. I'll wait for the membership notification to pop up here. In a second, if the cloud bot actually would allow me that to happen faster. Just waiting for, oh my god, come on. Bro, I need to find another bot, guys. <laughs> I need to find another bot. 
Uh, but basically, we're doing Dark Souls 3. Yeah, thank you. Thank you both. Serkan, thank you very much for becoming a member, man. Really appreciate it. Helps, helps support the channel, helps out a lot. Doing Dark Souls 3 next week. Use what you get, randomizer. Hope you guys have a good one for today. Like the stream if you haven't. And buy the game. I don't think you're gonna regret it. If you have the money, buy the game. Other than that, I'll see you guys all on Monday. Hopefully, I will actually be able to release the video sooner. But yeah, hope everybody's gonna have a great day. And yeah, I'll see you on Monday, guys. Bye-bye, guys.